That's not illegal to have a seat. It's not illegal. No, I, sit down. Sit down. 911 operators are often the first person to help people who are suffering with the most challenging moments of their lives. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Please, I have to go to work. It's a serious, respected position, but that doesn't mean that everyone calling 911 has a serious problem. That was weird. Today, we're going to take a look at four shocking cases where calling 911 was unnecessary and even ends with the caller in handcuffs themselves. On January 5th, 2023, officers in Boone County, Kentucky, received a heart-stopping call. The voice was garbled, but they could make out a man saying four incriminating words. I killed two people. Heavily armed officers raced to the scene, but when they arrived, they were faced with the last thing you would expect. Is everyone inside okay? Okay. Officers managed to trace the 911 call to a quaint house in a nearby neighborhood. They had no idea what was awaiting them, but with the belief that two people had just been killed, they called in all available units and arrived on the scene, armed and in position. They called through their speakers into the house, ordering the occupant to step outside with his hands up. Hire missing Javel on a request for a subject named Tracy Connor as the caller. And different phone numbers for both. Temple, we got contact. Male juvenile coming out, talking to us. Temple. Is everyone inside okay? Okay, bring him out. All right, do us a favor, turn around. Turn around. Turn around, you got me covered. All right, just put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to cuff you right now. Do you have any weapons on you or anything sharp? Nope. Yeah, he yeah. said he was. He said on. I was playing Rainbow Six Siege inside. What'd you say when you were on the phone accidentally? I can't remember. Oh, I remember there was a four-minute phone call. What's your name, bud? Elijah. Okay, you can relax. Okay, so this was just an accident. You yeah, called 911. Uh, Did you say you killed two people or something I was like that? Rainbow Six Siege. I had my headset on. Okay, how old are you? 17. You're 17. Do you have a driver's license or no? Uh, no. Okay. I don't, I don't have a Are you, where, walk back where's your parents at? Uh, where? No, okay. No. No. Can you be no. Can you just hold on. Hold on a second, okay? Do you care if we just check and make sure everybody's okay? Nobody's in the house. Uh, I took my dogs away. I have two German shepherds inside. Hey, okay. Okay. Um. Can we do that real quick. Put, it, put them away. Outside of the dogs, though. I just spoke with uh, the juvenile son's father, Tracy. I've got a phone number for the team. <clears throat> Elijah, what's your last name, bud? Uh, Matthew. Elijah Matthew? Yeah. And what's your date of birth? She's at work okay. currently. I told her you'd be somebody from the scene to call on her to give us further information. Doc, I'm going to go to call her real quick. Yeah, do you, can you call your mom for me? Yeah. Oh, shit. No. Thank you. He said no, they're not friendly. No. The girl is the boy, so I thought I put him away. Okay. This is 17-year-old Elijah, and his willingness to exit the house following orders is why police were able to approach him so calmly. He informed them that he had simply butt-dialed them while playing Rainbow Six Sage, a tactical online shooting game. He calls his mom, whose lack of shock seems to validate his story even more. Mom. Yeah, there are uh, four of them right here. I was playing the game, I had my headset on, and uh, I butt out the police officer on accident. And I, I just, you know, I was in the game, you know how I, you know how I am in the game. And so four of them came here. Do you want me to talk to your mom? Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah. You're not in any trouble, man. All right, uh, if it's an accident. Hey, yeah. is this Elijah's mom? Okay. Yeah. Hey, so what happened is I guess he's saying that he was playing a video game and in the process of accidentally calling 911, he said that he killed two people, but he was talking about on the game. So we yeah. thought that there was a double murder, so we showed up to your house with a bunch of us. That's why we're here talking to your son, okay? So there's nothing to be worried about, okay? Yeah, I got we're, a call. Yeah, we're just trying to, we're, we're just doing our due diligence here, trying to figure everything out and make sure that everybody's okay, because we have to do that when we get a 911 call. So right, right. we just wanted to inform you, um, are you nearby or no? No, I'm in Highland Heights at work. Okay, well, we would like to uh, just check out the inside of the house, if that's okay, just to make yeah, sure that... Yeah, put the dogs away? Yeah, yeah, your son was telling us that the dogs need to be put up first, so I just wanted to yeah. talk to you before, so we can get your permission, okay? Okay, 
Yep, that's totally fine. All righty. Well, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Uh, bye. bye. All right, you can put him away. You got the side. Okay, hold on for me. Let me just get my supervisor on on speed with us here. Hey, we can go in, put the dogs up, check the house, and go ten eight. Okay. Uh, I guess. Do you have questions about what's happened? No, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Are we good? Yeah, let's go in. We're just gonna go and put the dogs up and check the house real quick, bees. Officers head into the house to ensure that the story Elijah is telling is the truth and that there is no evidence of a crime. The footage is censored for Elijah and his family's privacy. By the time officers have finished searching the house, everyone is much more relaxed. Right, let me go call the tenant real quick. Okay. Are those both German Shepherds? Yes, sir. I like German Shepherds. They're pretty cool. They shed a lot, but they're all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I've had, I've had two in my time. Here's your main and see. Um, uh, attacking the happy ying and then defending either warden, I can think of this, or uh, Chaka. All right, we're all good. Good? All right. Good. He's calling out. All right. Figure out if we need to show force. Where are you playing? Siege. You any good? Uh, I'm level 106, so. Well, you good. killed two people. Though. Yeah, you killed two people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, do you have any questions for us, buddy? No, sir. Okay. Um, I appreciate you being cool. You know, right when you come... We, I, I don't know, I'm sure everybody already told you. If you haven't taken seriously, you, have, you know, when you came out, we knew you were being cooperative with us. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you coming out, even though it wasn't easy. Yeah, I, I, I walked over here, I saw two cop cars, and I looked over here, and I saw something. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? Did I miss school? That, that guy over <laughs> They were serious about that. That guy over there scared the hell out of me, but... Uh, yeah, I got you. Yeah. But um, I, sorry you had to deal with this. I appreciate you being cool. With yeah. Us. If you have any questions, or you want to shoot the breeze with us one day? Just give us a call, man. But um, if you need anything at all, or your mom does, just give us a call. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, exactly. Elijah. You too. You don't have to call us, sir. By the way, I appreciate it. <laughs> Take care, buddy. With the house cleared, officers are able to leave without incident. While Elijah's call was accidental and ended with jokes and laughter between the officers, the next person who called 911 has a much less pleasant interaction. What the f are you doing? Oh my God, stop! It's Shakira. Okay, is that your name? Shakira, you can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. On March 23, 2023, in Marshfield, Wisconsin, 911 dispatch received a panicked call from a woman named Kayla begging for help, but providing no further details. In the background, a man could be heard yelling. While police assumed the worst, what they were about to walk into would somehow be a very different type of nightmare. Stop. 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 All, all cops deserve to get shot. Stop. Okay. Since Kayla didn't provide any additional information on her call, officers traced her cell phone to discover her name and address. They raced to the address and banged on the door that they presumed to be hers. Police department! Police department, open the door. Law enforcement knocked on the door for several minutes, receiving no answer. At this point, their concern was sky high. On scene, they called her number, hoping that would be a way to get in contact with her. Her shocking response was the last thing they expected. Police department, open the door. Hello? Hey, this is Officer Clouch from Marshfield Police Department calling you. Okay. What's going on? Well, we got a call from this number stating okay well, what uh what apartment are you guys in well we're trying to we, we just want to make sure everything's okay all right so we just got to check out everyone okay well how would you know we're knocking on the door we're not leaving come to the door open the door oh. what's going on i have to go to work mm -hmm. no i have to go to work Okay. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to nothing. Okay. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. 
Okay, well, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. I have to go to work. So you called it. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. Okay, I did what's, call what's you. Your, what's your phone? Start with that. 60385. I'm so, from I'm from New Hampshire. Well, I'm from Massachusetts originally. Okay, so who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. Because there's someone else. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We gotta. I have to go to work. Gotta, we gotta call. Hello. Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called nine one one. I actually have I actually have two different numbers. On that's the, the number that called nine one one. Oh, you're yeah, right. It was. So they needed some help. Okay. So I that's did, why we're um, here. I have to go to work, y'all. I have to go to work. So I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I'm not talking to you. I'm not speaking to you. I have to go to work. Who else is inside? Okay. I have to go to work. You guys are going to cause me to lose my job. Please let me go to work. There's no one inside. Please let me go home. Please. I have to go to work. I have to go to work, sir. The f*** are you doing? Oh, my God. Stop. Get the f*** away from me. Get the f*** away from me. Despite Kayla's claims, officers were legally able to tase her boyfriend. Him raising his fists and resisting officer instructions was enough cause for police to tase him, eliminating the danger that he potentially posed for them, as well as Kayla. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe, right. I can't believe this. I gotta adjust this cuff too before. Okay. okay, hold on, hold on. I'll just tighten that one when she was pulling on No, you are, you are- F you! You! I started arguing and then the police got involved. I didn't even know. Brandon's your first name, right? Yes, Brandon, sir. all we had to do was talk about that, right? Okay. That's all we wanted to do when we came here. Can we, sit, can we sit you up? Can you take the taser out of my leg, yeah. please? Yeah, we, we want to sit you up though so you're not laying on it, okay? Guys, I didn't do anything wrong. But you but came out tense up at us, man. You can't you be doing can't that. With your fist I didn't leave my apartment. I did not leave my apartment. You did, but you can't come out trying to fight us. He just lost his job. All right. He just lost his job. I can't afford to lose my job. Please let me. Please. Please. Guys. Please. Please. I'm going to lose my job. You have a seat in here. I'm going to lose my job. Please don't. Please. I'm not going to run. Why would you guys hit me? I wasn't running. Okay. Listen. You called 911. Just listen. All right. All right. You I was called 911. I was just trying to threaten him with the f cops. Okay, that's inappropriate, that first of all, right? I understand that, but okay. I wasn't, he wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Okay, you you got every police officer over here because we thought someone was being A, murdered, beat up, yeah. and... No, I'm fine. You guys did all of this. He up. thought that you were hurting me. Of course he came out here to help me. He thought you guys were hurting me. Okay, you called 911. You just tased him. Yeah. He wasn't doing anything. Okay. She can go on the no, oh, please. Right. I have to put little... your legs inside. Sir, I have put to. Your legs inside I'm the vehicle. trying to talk to you like an old person. Put your legs inside the vehicle. Please talk to no. me. No, put your legs inside the vehicle right now. Can you please talk to me? No, put your legs inside. Can you inside. put the window down? We can roll the window down. Can I please be in the know? I want to know what's happening. Right. Guys, please. I have I have to work. I have, I'm under arrest. Right. Yeah. Yep. You are under arrest for obstructing an officer, first of all. I'm under I'm going to jail? No, you're not going to jail. You're under arrest right now. I, I have to work at noon, guys. I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have called 911 and... I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose the work at noon. Please. Put your leg in. 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 Please. Or you will go to jail. Please. Put your leg in the car. Please. Put your leg in the car. Please put the window down a little bit. Put your leg in the car. It's just a little bit. That was weird. How you doing, Officer Bird? I'm okay. 
Nice I'm gonna, to see you. I'm going to take care of you here, buddy. I uh, I hope there's not going to be anything stupid from this. Nobody's nobody's hurt. I don't feel like I don't. I'm not going to make paperwork out of it. So. If you need needle nose, I have needle nose in the cabinet. Outside, one officer gets in his patrol car to take Kayla down to the station. But with both she and her boyfriend in cuffs, she brings up a problem that no one seems to have considered. I'll put the window down a little bit. Stop Somebody yelling. Talk to me. I need to know what's going on, please, sir. You, you're being arrested for one, disorderly conduct. Two, resisting an officer. I wasn't resisting, Three, sir. That, I have to go to work at noon. Please. That is resisting an officer. Sir, I have and three, for obstructing an officer by filing a false police report, which caused us. Hey, was it? I called the police because he was yelling. Okay, you you told me that you just made that up. No, I told you he was the, yelling. That he was being a douchebag. Yeah, sir, that, I can't afford to lose my job. I'm sorry about that. So do I have to go down to the station? You're gonna come down to the station right now, yeah. Can, please, can you bring me back now? I'm trying to be back before work, please. No. So is she gonna be held? We don't know yet. You just screamed in my face. I'm sorry. I have a baby I have to take care of. Where's your baby right now? In there. In there? Yes, sir. I have to go to work. Okay. Please. I have to go to work. Please. So who's going to watch the baby? I want that. I'll call out. I'll call out. I just have to be with my baby. Please don't take him away from me. All right. We're not going to take your baby, but we got to find somebody for him right now. We have to go through what just happened right here. And sir. we're going to go do that at the police department. Okay. Well, can we go now? I have to work. Do you want to call him and just let him know you're going to be late? I can't. I'm the one that opens. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not <laughs> going to happen right at this exact moment. So. Okay, well, yeah, can I please call them? I have everything's in my phone. Okay. Well, we'll have to go get that in a second here. Sir, what's going on with my boyfriend? I don't know. I'm out here talking to you. Do you think I know? Okay, your decisions got you here. My decisions? I didn't do anything besides try getting her to calm down and cook her breakfast this morning. I didn't do anything besides cook bacon and sausages for us. What part of cooking has you stepping through a doorway with your fist raised at police? We have to work through what happened to make sure that nothing else happened, all right? Oh and God. we're not going to rush this because you're on a time schedule. Sir, please, nothing happened. He was yelling and I called the cops and that is it. Okay, you were screaming that, that, you guys just look that for anybody, we need to any get there. reason to arrest me. I don't get it. I don't even know who you are. I don't, I'm not telling you. Okay, well then, that's another reason we're not going to let you go then. <laughs> she said that her boyfriend was being a douchebag and that she wanted him to get scared. Yep, that's basically what he said. Obstructing, disorderly conduct, and <clears throat> resisting in my opinion. Yeah. So when she started screaming like she's being right now, he came through the door like... We were hurting? Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. we were hurting Get her. yourself ready to go. Does he need to go to jail over this? He's... Uh, there's a baby in the room in there? Yep. In the, in the, uh, okay, so, so if he's rational and capable, yeah. let's leave him there okay. based on the circumstances. Okay. Are you going to stay calm? Yes, I, will, I promise. Okay. So I, need you, I need you to stay calm and cooperative at this point, all right? I'm going to have Officer Fox unhandcuff you so you can tend to your baby. While her boyfriend may remain calm, Kayla does anything but. She thinks she has a twisted trick up her sleeve that will get her out of going to jail. But unfortunately for her, it isn't going to go as planned. Okay, okay. What is your name? Sir, what? I'm, I'm not yet. Please, I have to go to work. Okay, what is your name? I have to go to work. I'm asking you what your name is. Why? So I can address you. Shakira. Okay, is that your name? Shakira. You can call me Shakira. Shakira what? Shakira Flabbergasted. Shakira Flabbergasted. Okay. Do you have any mental illnesses that I need to be concerned no, about? No, just bring it to the police station. Or can someone let me call my work, please? Not, not at this time. I cannot afford to lose my job, please. Please. Can I please call my work? Not at this time, I told Why? you that. Because you're under arrest. Sir, can you call them for me? All you have to do is go in my phone. I don't have your phone with you. And I, have, and I wasn't lying earlier, I have two different numbers on one phone. I have, a, I have an e-SIM card and a regular SIM card. I was not lying to you guys. I'm gonna lose my job. I don't know what to tell you. Sir, please just please. No, your actions are way inappropriate and your neighbors don't have to put up with this. Sir, I just wanna make sure I don't lose my job. I don't know what to tell you. I will call them, 
Why would you tase him? He wasn't doing anything wrong. You guys are so trigger happy. It's ridiculous. Uh, all cops deserve to get shot. Okay. Tase my f***ing husband? What the kind of sh is that? There's f***ing six of you. You guys gonna bum rush them, you f***ing loser? <laughs> Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. For what? Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself and I feel like I want to kill myself. Bring me to the hospital. Okay. Duly noted. Bring me to the hospital. I want to kill myself. I'm having thoughts of suicide. Bring me to the hospital. Bring me to the hospital. I'm having thoughts of suicide. I want to kill myself. I would like to talk to an officer. Okay. What would you like to talk about? I would like to go to the hospital. I'm feeling no. We're not going to take you to the hospital because you're going to go to jail, so. Really? Yep. Wait, what is he doing then? We're still working through that, but. Wait, why am I going to jail? I told you that already. Can I just get bailed out? No. Wait, I'm going to jail? For yeah. real? Wait, why? I'm going to sleep in a prison? So oh. why am I getting arrested? For disorderly conduct, obstructing an officer. He's not getting arrested? Huh? Uh, not? We may arrest him too, yeah. But well, what about my baby? We'll take care of the baby. Oh my God, you're going to take my baby? I'm not going to take your baby. Is Wait. CPS coming to get my baby? We, did I say that? No, I did not say that at all. Okay. Why can't I just get bailed out? Because in... in I'll be 1095, Sorry, PD, beginning at 74990. 74990. Oh, I don't God. have a name for you What's right now. What's going on so. with my baby? Is he getting arrested? Uh, or why am I getting arrested? Because you created a giant disturbance here. I didn't do anything. I didn't know that I was resisting. I was just trying to see if he was okay. Sir, please don't do this. I will swear to God, I will I will stop mm -hmm. from here on out, guys. Please. I, I, please. No part of your actions have sir, caused me to believe I'm you. I'm trying to talk to you like a normal person right now, sir, please. Okay. Please. You have not identified yourself yet either. My birthday is Taylor. My birthday is Taylor. My social security number is... Please, sir, don't arrest me, please. I guess I'm already arrested. You are arrested, yes. I only called because I was trying to scare him into not yelling at me anymore. I was wrong. That was wrong. I was wrong. That was illegal. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know why I'm the one getting arrested. Because of your behaviors after it. Sir, no. please don't arrest me. You are arrested right okay, now. Okay, well, please don't let me stay over the night. I promise my actions will change. Right. I'm not seeing a significant change in your behavior, I'm, but... Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'm sorry. Just take a couple of breaths. We'll please. talk. Hey, just take it. No, I don't... You're, you're not listening. Take a couple breaths, and we'll talk when we're at the PD. Just breathe for a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking you to do. Okay, we're gonna step out of the car. We're gonna go in my booking area, and you're gonna have a seat. All right. Officer, I really don't want to please. I know it'll have a choice. Ultimately, Kayla was charged with disorderly conduct, resisting an officer and obstructing an officer. Kayla may have hoped the police never arrived at her house at all, but the next person on our list was eager for them to, even though it led to him being in handcuffs. Who cares? I'm high as hell. Is that what you want to hear? Can we get so to you the... drove here high as hell to get I'm out not high. Of just on January 3rd, 2023, officers received an outraged call from a customer at an auto body shop, claiming that the owner refused to do work that had been prepaid. When they arrived on the scene, however, a very different story came to fruition. Well, you admitted you just got high after you got here. And you didn't take that as sarcasm. When officers arrived at the auto body shop, they were immediately met by the man who called 911. He explained to them that he came to the shop to have an interlock device in his car swapped out. Interlock devices are placed in some cars after people have received DWI or DUI charges. It requires a person to blow into a mounted breathalyzer, only allowing the car to start when the driver has blown into it and proved they have no alcohol in their bloodstream. No, no. I, uh... I had an appointment, I had a breathalyzer thing in my car that needs to get swapped out every month and they do an evaluation on it. I, I paid for it over the phone by credit card, I already did all that. And now he won't do the work on my car when he's already got my money and everything else. He tell you he won't do the work or what? Yeah, he told me he won't do the work. Why are you sweating so much? Because it's hot, it's up and sitting in the car for an hour and a half, I got no AC. You just keep your hands out of your pocket while we're talking. I called you. I understand that. I treat everybody the same way. I just, not, no disrespect. Just hang out for a minute. Let me talk to them. 
Just stay out here, okay? What's up, boss? How are you? All right. What's going on? Trying to get him out of here, you know. And uh, when I was doing the download, his his camera didn't work, okay. And then all of a sudden, he blew up on me. Oh, the camera's fine, blah, 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 right? I'm like, I'm on the phone with support, tech support, trying to re rem uh, remedy the problem. So he got all in my face about it, and then uh, I just said, look, I don't need this. And I just packed up my shit, got off the truck, and I, and I pulled it in. I said, you gotta go somewhere else. Alright, hey, what's going on, man? Officer hey, Jones, hey. Sarasota PD. What, what's happening? I got a breath on I got a blow to stay with the Yeah. And he was supposed to do the... The switch, it has one yeah. more three maintenance. Gotcha. If you look at the camera face right there, and you just touch it, you can t you can feel the, the the tape residue left on it. I told him you better stop doing it. I mean, I keep I keep telling him he's tampering with it. So I'm like, okay. Can you drive in here today? Yeah. Many interlock devices have cameras that take a picture of the person who is blowing into the breathalyzer to prove that the sample is being taken by the driver, not a friend or family member. Tampering with the camera or any part of an interlock device is a violation and can result in a misdemeanor charge or even serving up to a year in prison. He says my camera's disconnected. He's like, oh, the camera's disconnected. I was like, no, the camera's absolutely not disconnected. And if it is, I don't know anything about it. We got to get in the computer and check diagnostics on this. But then he tells the guy that it had sticker or tape or something over the, the camera part. And he starts telling him he can't do it because of that. Long story short, the guy got his money. He got paid into... What are you so nervous for? I'm not nervous, dude. I'm You're frustrated. Shaking. Your pupils are pinpointing. Who cares? I'm high as hell. Is that what you want to hear? Can we get so to you the... drove here high as hell to get I'm a... not high, dude. You just said. I was being sarcastic. I was just trying oh. to move this along. I'm not paid to be sarcastic. I, I, I got high after I got here. Weird. I know. How are you going to get out here? I'm not even high, dude. What are you talking about? Put your hands behind your back. For what? You're being detained. You said you're not For what? For what am I being? Suspicion of narcotics. That's, that's not illegal. Put your hands behind your back. Tense up, it's gonna be real bad. Oh, I know it will be. All right, you haven't met me yet, so I'm just giving you a fair warning. This is crazy, isn't it? You don't think so? You you really? Yep. Well, you admitted you just got high after you got here. And you didn't take that as sarcasm. No. Yeah. Do you have anything in your pockets in the nope. I'm gonna nope. pat you down. Revise it. Okay, we have to see. We'll see. Just about What am I sitting in? No, 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 no. What? You're hey, pissing hey, 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 my pockets. Hey, no, but I'm losing this. Calm down. Calm Who? down. Uh, I'm just saying, what do I get through? In Florida, a person can be detained on suspicion of possession and further questioned to determine if a crime has been committed. Officers here have reasonable suspicion to do so, since the suspect told them clearly that he had done drugs on the premises. That's not a crime! Possession of narcotics? Possession? Where's the possession at? Where's your possession? Hey, have a seat. No, 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 no. Where's your possession at? Have a seat. No, dude. Have a seat or you're going to go to jail. You're, with your eye trying to do that, let me sit out here like a normal person. If you want me to, no, what's your suspicion? I'm going to ask you one last time. That's not illegal. It's not illegal, officer. That's not illegal to have a seat. It's not illegal, no. For what? Sit down. Sit down. Dude, get the leg in. Actually, come on back out. Now you're getting searched incident to arrest. Oh, why am I getting searched? Obstruction of justice. How? Resisting an officer without violence. I'm not resisting. You, must you just did. How did I resist? To go in the jail, my dude. I had to play more games. You're, 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 you're breaking the law. I didn't I'm resist. How did I resist? I'm not breaking the law. I'm not, I'm not by me law. asking a question. By me asking a question, how is possession? Or a son? A son which how is possession? How is possession? Oh, yeah, you answer your own question. There's Frederick. no possession, dickhead. You're not going to find anything. You're going to be real pissed and look real stupid. What'd you take? I didn't take anything. 
Do you need an ambulance to check you out? Why would I need an ambulance to check you out? I don't know. You said you just took narcotics. I did his, yeah, it was sarcasm. Yeah, well, I guess you'll learn about sarcasm, won't you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Suspicion of drugs, huh? So that's a crime now. We're arresting people for that? No, you're being arrested for resisting without violence. Well, how, and, and how did I resist you? In what you, way? Uh, just what obeyed way? my lawful command to seat what, in how the did car. I, what, I, I have a seat now. I, I, oh, I asked you what I was under arrest for. No, no, no. Dude, you know my dad's a head. You know my dad's FBI. I don't you don't care. Yeah. President of the United States. And you're going to still arrest me on these charges? You know what he's doing fucked up, man. Hey, let me talk to you. You know what he's doing fucked up. Get your foot in the car. Come on, dude. You know what he's doing as officers stated originally, the suspect was just being detained. But when he refused lawful commands as police tried to put him in the vehicle, he officially broke the law, allowing officers to arrest him and search him, as well as his vehicle. Actually, since he's under arrest, I'll be checked. That may be something where we tell it. I mean, I, <laughs> I was doing it, but he just got crazy. Yeah, he's not very cooperative. Now. No, and he's never been a very good. He's, he's been trying to three just fine. Be this difficult to just put it in there. Oh. Daily call from the SO reference that previous signal nine yeah. case that they're on. Please yeah. stack my call and show you back out at 10 14 I'll go check for that test kit real quick. All right. This side's clear. I do not want to add to your bad day. But What's going on, sir? Just step back here. I was back in that truck up and I didn't notice that you were here. I put that dent in your truck. But I'm going to be okay. right inside, so when you get this done, we'll take care of that. Okay, okay. yep, because I'm going to have to have a supervisor come do that yeah. one. But I, 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 I didn't want to go out there and tell you what I did it when y'all were in the mess you were out there. Uh, no worries. I will uh, I will let a sergeant know and then we'll deal with that one, all right? Yeah, that's no problem. Like I say, I will be inside or walking around this wall. Absolutely. <laughs> One of the employees signaled forward into my car. Huh? One of the employees signaled forward into my car. So good decals on. So, pot and then synthetic. Awesome, too. Thank sure. you. And I'll let you, uh, I'll deal with that one. I'll call Sarge. While officers handled the unexpected run-in from an employee, the suspect was trying to get their attention from the back of the cruiser. All right, sir. Good news and bad news, stay in the car. Try to get out of the car, we're gonna have to crop you, understand? Thought it was good to go. No, you're not good to go. What are you trying to get my attention back here for? I was just gonna say, listen, I came off rude to you. I do apologize for that. I was I was frustrated because he Before was you gonna start ramble, home. let me read you something. You have the right to remain silent. Anything what am I being you arrested say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, only appointed to represent you before any questioning, what? if you no, wish. No. You can decide at I any time to now. exercise these rights and not answer any no, questions no. or make any statements. Do you understand each I understand, right I understand, I understand exactly. Okay. With that being said, what would you like to tell me? <laughs> Nothing, I'm good. Okay. So you're being arrested for resisting without violence. Okay. Well, you got your body camera on, right? Yep. It's been recording this entire time. Okay, great. I'm taking it to trial. You're I swear to God, I'm taking a, it to trial. You're also getting a civil citation. For me. Oh, damn. Do you have a prescription card? I'm, I'm definitely taking it. I just want you to know I'm 100% going to take that to trial. And when That's you, fine. when you're sus, uh, suspicion of, uh, suspicion of whatever you said, what'd you say? What was it again? What was I under arrest for? You had narcotics on yes. you? Yes. Because you told me that you had no, I did not. the narcotics? I didn't tell you I just had narcotics. Sure, you definitely did. Oh, camera. so... I, We're not saying, argue no, no, no! I'm telling you. Well, I was, I was arrest. I was under arrest because suspicion of narcotics. That's what You're I was under arrest. You're yes. being detained, lawfully detained. And oh, being so lawfully being detained, lawfully detained, I have to be handcuffed and stuck in the back of your car. Right no, I want, I want to talk. So when you're lawfully detained and handcuffed, and an officer asks you to sit in the back of your car to, to have that? a seat, and you just obey my command, that's resisting. No, it's not. Command. It absolutely is. No, it's, it's resisting not. without violence. So, without being any charge, without anything charged against me, just your suspicion, I can be placed in handcuffs and put yes, back you in your car. My safety, absolutely. Absolutely, can. can I? Yep. I can sit on the curb right there, just like this, and you can do anything about it. Does the car say Burger King or police? Because last time I checked, where I asked you to sit, where you'll sit, and you refuse to do. Okay, so. well, I'm taking and it to trial. I swear to God, I'm court. taking it to trial. You're under arrest. I'll see you at the jail. Move your foot. 
But I swear to God, I'm 100% digging that for trial, and I'm getting that blade to work. Both are going to say this. You're not allowed to fuck me out. I can't believe you're kidnapped. You're straight kidnapped. 51 of the 22 is on three. What are you doing, man? How do you sleep with yourself in there? Listen very carefully. What? You do not obey my instructions. I can't guarantee your safety. Oh, I know you can't. You're gonna get what you can. Stop right here. 1014, white female juvenile. That's a jail. You hunting, huh? Hunting predators that work and go to shake them, go to work and have jobs. It's actually important for my country in the army. Oh, Well. The unnamed suspect was charged with resisting without violence and received a civil citation for possession of It seems that his dad, who was a fed, was unable to help him escape his charges, much like the next person on our list, who had an entire business fighting against him. Hey! Go f stand over there! Get away from him! Go here. stand over there! Go stand over there and stop running your mouth. On June 8th, 2022, officers in La Crosse, Wisconsin, received a call about two employees getting into an intense altercation. 40-year-old Eric Sims had reportedly fought Josh, the son of his employer. But the twisted web they wove about how the fight went down would prove challenging to unravel. Officers arrived at the business and decided to divide and conquer. One officer went to Eric to hear his story, while another spoke to employees to get their story. Immediately, the discrepancies became blazing red flags for Eric's retelling of events. Hey there. How you doing? Good. Um, Let's get out of the road and we'll talk over there. Yes, sir. Thanks. Here, Eric? Yes, sir. Okay. Incident today at the office here? Yes, I want him arrested. Okay, well, before we get to any of that, I need to know what happened. All right. The owner called me about a call I did this morning. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to say that I could have towed the car. I tried to explain to her why I couldn't and that the owner of the vehicle did not want me to tow it with my truck because I have a record 4x4. She wanted a flatbed. She got mad, hung up on me. Mm -hmm. I'm at the other office. I just got off at 8 o'clock. I came over here to try to... I was coming over here to talk. I got to the door. Mm -hmm. um, I was yelling at her. Mm -hmm. Her son came running out of the bathroom, jacked me up on my shirt, and told me to get the f out of there. Um, I was in the back room doing some stuff. Yeah, we he comes in the office and instantly, nothing out of his mouth but screaming, just instant screaming, top of his lungs. Um, I step out there, and Shay, the other officer guys out there, um, we yeah. ask him immediately, you need to go. You need to go outside, we'll deal with this later. Uh, continue to scream and be in our face. So we open the door, ask him to leave. Guided, I'm, I'm gonna touch it, guided him out like this. Okay. He grabbed me by my shirt and pushed me off of the steps and pushed me into the truck that's right next to the steps. And then I had to hit the truck. He tripped on the stairs. These on stairs his, here? No, oh. in, in the garage. Okay. He tripped yeah. down the stairs, kind of stumbled, dropped his phone. And that was that. And then we continued to tell him to go out the back door. He continued to do the same thing, kind of stay in our face, not want to go anywhere. And then he grabbed my phone, slammed my phone on the ground. I went to go grab it, said I was calling the police. He grabbed my phone again and he grabbed me by my shirt and holding my phone like that. I told him, I said, you know, you're going to jail now. That's an assault. Amen. Because when I was, I was at the door and he pushed me, I went like this. <laughs> And slammed into the truck. Okay. There's a like how huge far dent. away from me are the? Were, were you from the truck when he pushed? About you? four feet. And I, I, I kept my composure. I didn't put my hands on him. Or I, I wanted to punch him in his. But I know better. Yeah. Okay. Let me go talk to this other officer here, and I'll be right back with you. All right. So essentially, so you came here yelling and screaming. You're upset with Sue. I get it. Um, the officer who spoke with Eric goes to speak to the officer who spoke to Josh and the other employees. Very quickly, they realize that the stories don't line up. This leaves them with few options, and Eric is not going to be pleased with them. That's, that's not acceptable behavior. It doesn't excuse what happened with Josh. So essentially, if, if you want to pursue charges, then you're also going to be charged with disorderly conduct. They don't want to pursue charges against you, but you can't come into a place of work yelling and screaming and causing a scene. Disorderly conduct for a place that I work. Okay, do what you guys got to do. Okay. Then. Is that what you're? Is that what you want I, done? I whatever. I mean, 
Okay. They should have never put their hands on me. If you're going to charge, that's stupid. You're going to charge me disorderly conduct yeah. for me yelling, but. That's disorderly conduct. I don't know what. <laughs> Coming into a place of work screaming and yelling and making you a You know how many days every day that he comes in yelling and screaming at all the employees? Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't excuse your behavior. I mean, if. Okay, no problem. Is that what you, do you want to be charged with that and have him charged as well? Or it do don't you, matter. You can go ahead. We both can go to jail. Can I park my car? Okay. I'll have to make a phone call. I don't think anybody's going to go to jail, but you can you can be charged with it. Hey, do you want to come down here and get my car? Because now they're talking about that. I have to go to jail. You don't, you don't have to go to jail. If I'm pressing charges on Josh. You guys so, can get a signature bond. You don't have to go to jail. I'm on probation. Okay. So You still don't have to go to jail. I want him to go to jail. What he f***ing did, what he f***ing did, put his hands on me and slam me in the chalk. Okay. You guys are not going to arrest him? That's Officers go inside to investigate the car that Eric claims he hit, but when they arrive, they get much more information than they've bargained for. My guess would be probably right here where I can see okay. this rub. Okay. So yeah, he's claiming that you, he was pushed and he wants to press charges, but we're explaining to him that if he wants to press charges, we're going to charge him with disorderly conduct right back because in this effect, whole thing, this thing all started because he came in here, you in know, it, all pissed off. And, and if that's the case, I have more stuff. Right. I mean, he's right. a felon. He's right. trying to sell me weapons. He's right. got guns in his possession. I'm not trying to go down that rabbit right. hole. Right. I just want him gone. Right. No, I no that's what I told. I told my partner, that you guys just want him gone, you know, and just want to cut ties, I guess. So. Yeah. Um, I, I would have never even had to guide right, him right, out if right. he would have just left like I asked. He continued right. to scream. I, he couldn't even step right. back here. Right. And then, then he then he stood here. Right. Didn't even after that point when he tumbled uh, or not tumbled, but when he kind of tripped over his feet, I just backed right. away. Didn't want to touch him anymore. He stood here for a few more minutes, and then eventually um, Shay was able to get him to step outside. What? She, that's my girlfriend. She oh, okay. works here. She's the manager here. Okay. She can even tell you how he f acts every day and treats yeah, people. Yeah, I get you. She's even looking for another job. Okay. All right. So, just, just based on the information we're getting inside, and based on the, the totality of what happened here today, nobody is getting arrested for this or has to get arrested for this. You don't have to get arrested. He doesn't have to get arrested. What we're going to do is we're going to issue you both a disorderly conduct ticket. You're gonna, how are you gonna enter? He put his hands on me, so you're not gonna arrest him for I get him you. putting his hands on me. I'm not today, no, just based on the okay, circumstances. Okay, can I have your supervisor come out, please? Yeah, I'll give him a call after right, I write you your ticket, okay? As the officer sits down in his car to write a ticket, chaos erupts outside between Eric and Josh. Hey! Go fing stand over there! Get away from he him! Don't over here. stand over there! Go stand over there and stop running your mouth! Just don't listen to him. Just, no, just, 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 just don't listen to him. I would like to do whatever I need yep, to yep. do. Yeah, I know. He just threatened no, me no, in front no, of the no, officer. No trespass. No. Yes. Well, why did you come out here, though, and go near him? I knew no, 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 no. I went over here to deal with this yeah. stuff, and yeah. he literally screamed across yeah. the road, you know who my people yeah. are, his parents. Oh, yeah. It's not enough. Yeah, yeah I don't want nothing it's, to do with them, and not, I wanted yeah, to touch true. base with you. If I'm getting a charge, I'd like to file whatever yeah, he's, he's getting one. I'd yes. like, no, but yes. I'd like to. He's been trying yeah. to sell firearms, yeah. and he's a yeah. felon. So okay. I have text messages. If that's the route it's going to be, that's the route it's going to yeah. be. I'm done. Okay. Hey, Eric, I don't mean to blow up like that, but I don't want I don't want some violent situation to yeah, arrive from, from this jaw jacking, and you're telling him that you know his you I didn't people. say nothing. Okay. But you see how he came right. over, reacted, yeah. and came running. Yeah, I understand, and I told him if you guys have beef, that he needs to just stay in the building okay but you also have a responsibility okay because we're here because you came here just that's straight up i mean regardless what happened yeah, inside work here, that's yeah. why. well you and know what i'm saying no right putting his hands on me or okay. slamming me into a truck okay all right and i had bruising and yep. everything yep and obviously like we don't have the cameras to determine one way or another and that's why he's getting a dc right. ticket but you're also getting a dc ticket for the things you said and the way you were behaving, i'm getting so. a ticket for something yeah. i said yeah uh, officer maskey told you yeah you're but both that's getting, that sounds petty as so, well, this whole thing sounds petty. That's that's petty that he put his hands yeah. on me. If if you've Is been fired you're and you're not supposed to be here, you can. I was not fired. I was oh. fired after the fact. Oh, I was oh, told. That, I was told that you had already been fired. No, no, oh. I was fired after the fact. Okay, all right, sounds good. So, like we said before, um, Is your supervisor coming out. He's not able to come out right now, but you can call in if you want and talk Why? to somebody. Okay, I, I called him. I ran the situation by him. He's not able to come by, but he said he's willing to talk to you about it. If you need to, so you can call in. Yeah, but you guys are not taking him to jail for putting his hands on me. Okay. So that's what you guys do is just let people. 
push people in? Not in general. We have to take into the totality of the circumstances, okay? You can't come to a business, start Sir, yelling. Sir, I work and, here. I get you, but it doesn't they were excuse yelling your at conduct. Me. Okay, and then you can walk away and call the police or do things like that, but things escalated to the point they did because of how you acted, okay? Yeah, I'm but not, did you see I'm how he acted like a little I didn't, I was in my car. But, oh my god, he threatened me! Okay, so I'll arrange with them a way for you to get your stuff out of there. I gotta issue the ticket here, Eric, okay? So it's for disorderly conduct. That's, you know, that's, 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 um, that's really, uh, petty you're doing, right? Okay, that's cool. Here's your ticket. But I'm saying, what's your name? My name's Officer, Officer Maskey. We're not going to go through this whole thing. You and you're giving me a citation for me yelling. For disorderly conduct, okay? For disorderly conduct, you're giving for me a causing... ticket for yelling, correct? Yes, Lacrosse sure. Police Department. And you're not going to take him to jail for putting his hands on me. Not under the circumstances, me. no, Eric. We've already gone over this, and we don't I need just, to re-record it. I just want it. it on video. If you want to copy the video, I got it right here. All right, no problem, because that's thing, petty okay? as f You guys okay. are bullshit. You're doing. All right, do you want help getting your stuff over there, or no? Okay, well, we're not going to help you then. Not if you're acting like that. Yeah, but you guys let him f act like that. Eric, put his hands on get me. in your car and drive away, okay? Things are done here. That's just Eric, just drive away. You can get your stuff later, okay? We're not going to go about this when you're angry. Well, I want you to be the supervisor. I told him about it. He's aware of it, and you can call him. So what if, what's his name? How am I going to call him? I don't know who the supervisor is. Sergeant Taft, is. you just call the police department phone number. You That's can find it on... Okay. Both Josh and Eric were issued a $187 citation for disorderly conduct. As a result of the incident, Eric was fired from his job. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Also, check out these two videos that we think you'll love.